guys sending warm virtual hugs to each and every one of you. Hi, I'm Sia Kamath and now that you're here, I'd really appreciate if you took out the time and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that every time I post a new video, you get notified. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about NEAT. Now actually this video wasn't actually planned but ever since NEAT has been announced which is supposedly on the 12th of September, I just couldn't help it. I needed to sit down and talk to you guys about NEAT because honestly I've been through it and I know the struggles that a student goes through in that one month when NEAT is just around the corner and just knocking at your door and you are usually just trying to you know get yourself together hold yourself together and try to get through that one month which is a really 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 hectic time i get it i've been through it twice yes i've answered need twice uh, the first time i answered it i didn't clear it and then i took a drop i took a gap year and i reappeared for the exam and then that's when i cleared it so i totally understand all your feelings everything that you've been feeling inside trust me when i say that i've gone through that too okay so just Consider me as your older sister or a senior, a friend, anyone, but just listen to me. And even parents who are listening to me, please just take out the time and just try to understand what I'm saying because I'm just talking about this from my experience. I've experienced it twice. So I don't think anyone, of course, there are people who are going to tell you how to go about it. I'm not here to tell you how to go about it because you've reached this way you've come this long so you definitely know how to go about it what i'm trying to do is give you the final nudge so that you will definitely feel motivated because i've noticed that in this last one month what actually lacks is motivation because there's so much of anxiety so much going on and with this pandemic it's not helping us there was so much of uncertainty which trust me is a lot to take when you're appearing for such a important and difficult exam because getting into med medical colleges is a dream okay is a dream and i totally get that so when i say i understand what you're feeling trust me i understand what you're feeling okay so yeah without further ado that was a really long intro but yeah without further ado let's get into the video okay you guys so for those who do not know what neat is neat is basically an entrance exam that allows students to take admissions into medical colleges so there is a minimum cutoff uh, that they need to clear in order to get a seat to secure a seat so that is what a neat ex uh, what a neat exam is it's basically an all india entrance test that enables students to get admission into medical colleges so let's begin uh, for the first thing is that i'd like to say is see you have come this long and now self doubting is not going to work okay do not waste time overthinking and overthinking about you the lost time and how you wasted your time and what you could have done better but remember this my mom always says this forget of whatever has happened in the past okay you have this one month in your hand you can make it or break it okay you can either use it constructively and just build a entirely different amazing life for you so just forget about whatever has happened in the past okay just focus on now i know all your coaching institutes are going to like prepare you really well for your entrance exam but these are certain points that i kept in mind while appearing uh, appearing for my neat exam that was in 2019 i think yeah 2019 so yeah so what i'm going to do is first i know you all all have a timetable and but what i would strongly 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 and strongly suggest is that please solve your papers okay pass your papers those are the papers that will help you get your seat believe me when i say this because your need paper is somewhere in those previous year papers so do not take that lightly solve at least one paper a day and preferably at that time when need is supposed to be conducted so during my time it was in the afternoon i think it was yeah at 2 o'clock so i used to solve papers at 2 because then you will get your body used to that time because that's usually the time that you have lunch and go to sleep and then it doesn't help you because when you're going to appear for the paper you'll feel sleepy naturally but so to trick your brain you're supposed to get your brain and your body used to answering a paper at the exact time that you will answer your need paper so make sure that you sit to answer your paper previous year papers at the same time that you will answer your need paper 
and just approach it how you will approach your actual paper that's going to help you definitely going to help you and yeah solving previous year papers is a must okay you cannot skip this step trust me your paper is in your previous year paper you will come back to me and you will laugh about it when you will see it but trust me your paper is in those previous year papers okay the second thing is that sleep now trust me when i say people think that whenever you are appearing for your entrance exam you should not sleep and you should just study all day all night that's not going to help you because after a point you're going to feel tired you're going to sit with your book in your hand and not understand a thing you'll try to read it but won't be able to retain it and that's because you need to at least sleep for a minimum of 6 or 5 hours you do need to sleep because whatever you've been feeding your brain it needs to be stored in your long term memory and if you're not going to give your brain that temporary rest pause it's not going to retain it it's just going to be like you're pouring and pouring water in a glass and eventually it's going to spill out because where will it contain it there's no room to actually store the information that you're putting into it so make sure that you're sleeping well i'm not saying just go sleeping for 8 hours straight no you can't afford to sleep for th- those many hours but definitely at least 5 hours you have to sleep okay you have to sleep along with that your diet please make sure you're eating right okay just do not starve yourself eat healthy stay healthy and i strongly suggest at least like exercise for at least 10 minutes just move your body do something but that will definitely help you keep you recharged and motivated and healthy and fresh so you need to be fresh okay now what i uh, strongly suggest is that this is for the parents because my parents were really supportive they used to not stay up with me i would ne- not recommend like them staying up with you but if they are willing to do that great kudos to you but like yeah my parents have to go to work so i wouldn't like ask them to stay up with me but just come and check on your child okay just be there for them all that you need at this time when it's so difficult is just your parents looking at you and saying like we know you'll go to get through this okay just be there for your child because trust me when i say this but that sense of security that your parents know that you're doing the right thing that's everything okay so make sure parents please be there for your child ask them how it's going ask them what are the difficulties try to talk to them at least for like 5 minutes on dinner table or whatever but that's going to help them significantly because mental health is important just talk to your kid okay just talk to them ask them how they are feeling ask them whether they are feeling stressed or nervous or depressed you will come to know because it's your child you want to nurture your child and your child will get through this along with you because their victory is your victory so just make sure that you are there for your child at every step in their life and this is a very crucial step of their life okay it's going to make their life so you want to be there and you want to be a part of that okay okay the third thing now let's talk about the subjects so the subjects that you will have to answer obviously you know it by now everyone knows it is biology physics and chemistry now bio is like 50% of your paper bio will actually make it or break it for you so please do not skip bio unless like you're really good at physics and you're really good at chemistry but i still suggest do your biology do your mcqs solve your mcqs try to figure out why when you're trying to answer a question obviously you don't have the time right now but what i suggest is when you're looking at an answer and you know what one option out of those four is the right answer you should also know why the other three are not the right answers that's that's when you know that you know everything okay you know everything just make sure you've done your ncert textbook that know your ncert text and you're good to go like you need to know your text it's supposed to be at the tip of your tongue okay just be sure and see what you've done and also i know everyone must have given you all a list of like the must done ch- must do chapters and can do chapters and like you know the top chapters that fetch you the max amount of marks so definitely just focus on those chapters more for physics and for chemistry again i'd suggest that just keep solving your questions solve all your mcqs try to figure out find out new mcqs and just try to do all your chapters like mole concept and all of those chapters are really 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 crucial to all your questions and solving okay try to solve them within a minute or so because you do not have time and again if you're not sure about an option please do not mark it because neat has negative marking every wrong answer you will lose 
one mark you'll get a negative one so i suggest that if you're not sure about your answer rather get a zero than a negative one so if you're not sure please do not mark it because Many people still do not know that NEET has negative marking. There was this cousin of mine who asked me. That's when I realized that I need to make this video because a lot of people still do not know how to go about NEET. Because not everyone can afford fancy tuitions, coaching classes. So yeah, I do understand that. So yeah, because of that, I'm just telling you all that yes, NEET does have negative marking. Every correct answer fetches you a total of four points and every wrong answer fetches you a negative one. And trust me, you do not want that negative one. So if you're not sure about your answer, please do not bubble it. Another thing, when you're bubbling on your OMR sheet, make sure you completely, completely fill it in. Do not leave it half filled or like cancel or anything. Because once you put a pen mark on it, it counts as being marked okay and you're going to be evaluated on that basis so if you're not sure make sure that you're not even putting an ink mark on it and if you're pretty sure only then will you bubble it now mostly what i used to do is i used to answer my bio paper first because that was 50 percent of my paper right so just answer bio first then I should answer chemistry and then physics. So it actually depends on you what you want to do it because everyone says do it this way only. But I suggest do bio first. Physics, chemistry, then you can decide. But bio is 50% of your paper. So please attempt bio first. And again, go back to your previous year papers. Solve your previous year papers because you will come to know which chapters are important based on your previous year papers. This is my two year experience. <laughs> but yeah, just go through your previous year papers. Okay, just go through your previous year papers. And yeah, now that I've said all that I wanted to say because all of y'all are busy people, y'all are studying, y'all do not have time to listen to my rant for like 30 minutes straight. So I'll just keep it short, as short as I could get. But trust me, you've come a long way, okay? Just look at that and go through those two years of 11th and 12th struggling with physics, chemistry, bio. And now that you're here and like you really want to do this for yourself, not for anyone else, but yourself because you want to be a doctor and this is going to be the most happiest moment of your life trust me it was for me when i got in the second time because the first time that i didn't get in i was really heartbroken i was shattered i had nothing else left because all that i ever dreamt of doing was getting into a medical college and when i didn't see that happening i was completely shattered but yes my parents were my support system they really helped me Master the courage to appear again. They were my strength. They were my pillars of strength. They were standing with me all through these difficult times. And yes, we did see the light at the other side of the tunnel. So yes, you need to trust in yourself. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with the people who are genuine, who genuinely care about you because this is a very crucial time and you want only positivity around you and no negativity. Just try to cut down on your phone usage. Do not try to invest in like other things like series that will cut, you know, use up a lot of time. And yeah, solve your papers. And I know that y'all are going to rock it, crack it. And yeah, I can't hope to see some of my juniors very soon. So I hope you like this video. If you did, if you did, did. <laughs> If you did, please, please, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also please share this video with your other friends who are budding doctors because trust me, you want to listen to this. Okay, it's coming from a really, really, really special place in my heart. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I'll not take any more of your time. Go study now. Okay, bye.